Hey, my name is Ariana Dubieska. I created this YouTube channel initially to teach you how to invest, but I realized there's many other factors to just investing, like for example, learning how to budget your money in order to have enough to invest. In this video, I will be going over healthy money spending habits that have been working for me. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and I will never claim to be. This is just me sharing my personal experience with money and giving my own personal advice that has helped me also i want to give a special thanks and shout out to oscar for letting me use his beats as background music in this video specifically if you're looking to work with a talented producer i recommend checking him out i'll link all his contact info in the description below he's really good so yeah check him out in addition to that i would like to mention some exciting news we will recently reached out to me to join their affiliate program so this gives me the opportunity to give you back to you guys if you want to uh, open an account with weeble go ahead check the link in my description they give you a free stock with the link yeah weeble is a pretty good broker i'd say it's definitely way better than robin hood super great for beginners you know it gives you all the resources you need and it's mobile friendly okay enough talking let's start learning some money making habits <laughs> The first step to learning how to budget your money is asking yourself what are your main priorities. What I mean by this is things you can't get out of, like that you have to spend your money on every single month. For example, my main priorities are stock market investing, saving up for my future business, and my phone plan. Those are things I can't get out of that I've said to myself, okay, I have to spend my money on this every single month. If you live on your own and you don't depend on a parent or guardian, your priorities may look a little different. Like for example, if you're a student, you have to spend money on books and supplies. Another big thing is car maintenance, uh, your car payment, any savings, uh, savings account deposits, uh, gas, groceries, insurance, laundry, phone, rent or mortgage payment, tuition and fees, or like your util utilities too. That's something you wanna keep in mind of. Your priorities are not like spending money on unnecessary clothes. The second step is I strongly, strongly recommend this. If you're gonna take anything from this video, it's this. Create a spreadsheet outlining everything you spend on every month. So you're gonna put in like in different cells. For example, the amount that you spend on groceries, the amount that you spend on your phone, the amount that you spend on utilities every month. And then you're gonna add all that up. And then you're gonna subtract that from your income and then you'll see how much money you have left. Please, 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 I strongly, strongly recommend this. Please create a spreadsheet. And if you're too lazy to create a spreadsheet, I have my own spreadsheet that i'd be happy to share with you guys you know i created a template just for you guys just for this video it took me a long time like i'm not gonna lie it took me about two hours but i did it because it's gonna be really useful to you like i promise you it's gonna be the number one tool you'll have in your computer so if you're interested in it go ahead shoot me a dm on instagram and then i'll reply as soon as possible uh right now we'll go over the spreadsheet here we have the spreadsheet and as you can see i was up till 11 11 p.m doing it <laughs> this is what it is it has all your expenses listed and if you if you have more expenses you can always edit it um here you have your investments as and like I said, if there's more investments, you can always edit it. Your wants, I just put like whatever it is, it is that you want to spend on every month uh, that isn't extremely necessary. You have the option right here to do that. And then right here, you have your income, your total spent, and then your remaining balance so i put in a formula for total spent that will be adding up the total expenses the total investments and the total wants from every month and subtracting it to your income and then you get your remaining balance so for instance let's say let's say i spent like a hundred in books and supplies and like car maintenance 50 my car payment is about 
let's just say 180 savings let's say i put in like 250 of savings gas like about 50 dollars per month groceries 50 and as you can see it just keeps adding up insurance let's just say 25 i'm just plugging in random numbers so just don't come at me if these aren't exact amount Mission and fees facilities and then Let's say you put in for your retirement account, like a hundred, and then for your brokerage, two fifty. And let's say you just spent like twenty dollars on like a shirt, and you get paid five thousand per month. Here you have your remaining balance. So this is how the spreadsheet works. You punch in all your expenses of every month. It adds up right here, and then it sub subtracts it from your income and then you have your remaining total of 225 you can do whatever you want with that money since it's just remaining money this is an amazing way to manage your money if it's stuff like for example your priorities you can't not pay your bills every month so yeah punching in the amount that you have or the amount that you have to spend on every month is really useful because then you get an idea of how much money you can spend that month on like for example wants or how much money can you invest in every month so yeah this is why i'm saying creating a spreadsheet is literally the most useful thing that you can do ever so let me just delete all this and then i'm gonna show you right now how to create a copy of it so you can edit it on your own so you go to file and then you go make a copy copy and you press okay and here i'm viewing the copy so let's say for me the only thing i spend on really is my phone my brokerage account and i don't have a retirement account and then i do savings and let's say my income is 1200 okay. that gives me 220 dollars to spend on every month since this is a new year this will really help me so now i have an idea of how much money i can be putting into my brokerage account how much money i can be putting into my savings account how much money i can ultimately spend on yeah this is a really helpful way to get started into investing get started into doing whatever it is you want to put your money into but always remember put your money into somewhere where it'll grow you don't want to put your money into something that will just make it lose value like for example another car if you buy another car that car as soon as you drive it off the lot it'll lose value instantly make sure that you think about where your money is getting into there you go, that's how you create your spreadsheet. And once you create your spreadsheet, it's time to set up a budget plan. Once you saw where your money was getting placed into, then start thinking about what percentage of your paycheck will you be putting into expenses, savings, and your wants. So a very common one is the 50-20-30 rule. So 50% into investments, 20% to savings, and 30% into wants. 50% in the investing would apply to, let's say, business spending, brokerage account spending, retirement account spending. The 30% saving can also apply to your expenses, like your bills, and 20% on whatever you want. I personally don't like that budget plan because it just doesn't fit with me. I don't need 30% of savings slash bills. So I use the 50-40-10 rule. Uh, I use 50% of investing and then 40% of saving and investing into my business and 10% into wants. That's just what's been helping me as a person. It just really depends on who the person is. For example, I'm only 16. I don't have to worry about much. And for you, it can be way different. So just take your info from your spreadsheet and develop a plan for future, future months. So you will you won't have too much money going out and you can live a balanced life where you can still feel happy and not guilty on spending some money on yourself you know because it's okay to buy yourself some stuff sometimes you know it's part of loving yourself so yeah always treat yourself but part of treating yourself is also knowing how to manage your money take all that info like i said from your spreadsheet and develop the plan all right, let me get a little closer so I can speak to you. Really listen to me, okay? You got this. It's all about planning, all about having self-control and getting in the mindset of, well, I still want this in two weeks. That's a really important rule you have to follow. If you ever come across something that you suddenly want to buy, 
but probably shouldn't ask yourself will you still want this in two weeks and always always re repeat to yourself what is the purpose of all this why are you going through all this trouble to plan your money spending why are you investing why are you doing all this to better yourself what's your plan for the future if your plan for the future is a really strong reason to keep going then continue repeating to yourself that or if you're doing this for somewhere else or if you're doing for like for example your family you know to support your future family or to support your parents whatever that reason is make sure it's the strongest reason reason ever and always always make sure to be kind to yourself you should be the strongest reason that you are doing this for you will only have you at the end of the day so just keep that good mindset keep going don't worry about what everybody else is doing don't worry about what what they're spending their money on this is your life and you can do whatever you want like genuinely i'm telling you this you can do whatever you want all you have to do is set a goal and work towards that goal whatever your goal is my number one piece of advice is to do not live off one paycheck try to gain multiple streams of income a chair has four legs for a reason to support itself have more than one leg you don't want to break entirely if something ever happens to you so we need to start keeping track of what we spend we need to start keeping track of where we are spending the majority of our time if wherever you're spending your time in is a negative place then take yourself away whatever you can do to just remove yourself from all that if you're spending most of your time in places where you aren't learning always always keep in mind what you're doing right now will impact what you'll be doing next week so everything is a domino effect if you want to be successful then th start thinking you're successful your subconscious mind is the strongest part of your brain it doesn't know the difference between true or false think as if you are a multi-millionaire and work towards it and trust me you will become one invest your time your money and your presence where you know you'll be able to grow yeah thank you so much for placing your attention to me today i really hope you learned something valuable if you ever have any questions dm me on instagram or comment below i'm always replying to every single one of you again thank you so much and if you enjoyed the music playing in the background check out my description for more info on oscar he's really great also remember you can get your free stock if you sign up with Weeble with using my link my link which will all be located in the description like i said so yeah thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day bye